Hi everyone, it's Muriel. I'm here with the Project Share. I altered a cigar box and I'd like to show you first the items and products that I used and then I can show you the box. Um, this box was given to me by a dear friend at work. Hi Kim. Kim had given me several cigar boxes and has offered if I need more let her know but I'm really trying to work through the six or seven that I still have. So yesterday I pulled one out and altered it. So the box was wood. I used some of this really cool folk art acrylic paint in barn wood. Um, I had gotten just the other day a friend of mine who's moving to San Diego a huge box of 50 bottles of folk art paint. She didn't want to ship them. The movers are coming Saturday and you know 50 bottles within a wooden box has some weight to it which will add more cost to the move. So she shared me uh, with me her uh, acrylic paint and believe it or not besides f two bottles of black and two bottles of ivory I don't have any of the colors she has including this one here barnwood so it's really cool co color and it went with the theme of the cigar box that I'm that I made that I altered so I used uh, a butterfly from craft supplies one and this is a bendable one and please know that craft supplies one is having their uh, sale right now 20% off your merchandise at both shops Etsy and Zibit so if you're interested in any of the items that I tell you about that are from Craft Supplies One, you might want to pop on over to Julie's shop and purchase them while they're on sale. So here is the butterfly I used. Um, also for Craft Supplies One, I've used these uh, really low, low, low yellow beige curly flowers with the brown stamen in the center. Definitely a must-have for the fall. And um, I used some of Julie's trim. I love this trim. It's flat back pearl uh, trim, and if you're looking to uh, decorate the lip of a box, very a small edge, this is perfect. I mean, we all have uh, flat back pearl trim, but some of them are a lot, um, the millimeter is a lot bigger, so this is a smaller millimeter, and this is all I have left, and I absolutely love it. I may have to go order me some more. And then you remember these flowers that I got from the expo this weekend. There was one uh, rust uh, crochet flower that I popped out of here. And these are um, some beautiful orange, like, daisy flowers from um, Scrapbooking With Me. Uh, Edith has a shop. She's on YouTube. That's her channel. And she does a lot of uh, selling of, of items, products, trims, lace, you name it, paper. And I purchased these some while ago, and I'm so glad I did because they are so... Uh, orangey and fall perfect. Um, you recall from Michael's I purchased a long stem of these wild uh, flowers here which I absolutely love so I pulled off a piece of that as well as uh, a pick that I had from Michael's that had these pine cones on them so I think I used some of them. I didn't want too many pine cones because they uh, remind me of um, Christmas however there are some that are on the ground outside so maybe they uh, have fallen off um, maybe they do represent the fall. Here's just a piece of uh, burlap that I used from making some flowers recently, and that came out of my lace basket. You recall this trim. This is some recollection trim, which is really, really cool. I just used a smidget of that and a piece of that. And uh, a couple pieces of these uh, wood veneers from uh, Recollections. And then in the dollar basket at Joann's, I picked this up when I was in North Carolina, so I used one of those sentiments. And the paper line is the Rooster Provincial Collection from DCWV, I'm sure. Oh, no, excuse me, from Recollection. I'm sorry. Beautiful if you like roosters like I do, if you enjoy decorating for the fall. This is a very nice paper collection. You can kind of see the... Um, images here. I use, um, excuse me, this sheet here. Um, these are some cutouts, which I use several of those. I fussy cut a couple of these roosters. Um, I use that sheet there. So they got some gingham and then some, um, some, I want to say French maybe, some words down here. And then they have, and they're all with treatment, so these Roosters are like shiny, shiny. And then you got this deep uh, red and cream color. So beautiful collection. So let me show you what I did because I am going to be mailing this cigar box 
altered box out to a friend, and I'm hoping that she uh, loves it. Let's see here. Excuse me, I'm like, okay. So, again, I painted the box with the barnyard, barnwood um, paint, and as you can see, I kind of lined it with some of the paper. There was one sheet. There is another sheet. The legs are those beautiful uh, metal legs from uh, Tim Holtz, which I adore. Every time they're on sale, I get a pack. So I had two. Now I'm down to one. So I will be uh, purchasing another pack. And then there is the front. Now the hardware here I used uh, for the very first time. This is a class from Sky Blue Pink. And um, I have it on with some... E6000 and it was very easy to do I just took my time and um, because this box had nothing it didn't have any metal on it just in the back so uh, here's the front I have here a cluster of uh, flowers these two I just pre purchased from the expo this is one of my handmade flowers following the tutorial by my uh, passion for paper as well as um, Rosanna. So that's used with some Graphic 45 paper. There is some uh, flowers from my stash. There's that crocheted flower from Petaloo with a button. And this beautiful metal leaf was given to me in a swap from Lori Gouge. So thank you so much, Lori. It's beautiful here. And then I cut out uh, a uh, piece of the um, paper. It says ooh la la. <coughs> And there is a piece of brown burlap trim from a flower that I made. Another cutout uh, from the uh, collection. And this is a, um, like a, it looks like a bracelet that I got from my antique vintage, uh, antique shop. Um, I just kind of hooked it to the top of the key and then draped it around. And it kind of goes underneath the flowers, back over here, and it's connected to the butterfly. So, she'll be able to see that in detail. And then here is the, um, here is that spray that I created. These are all like Michael's flowers here. Um, the, um, orange weeds and then that spray there. And there's the two pine cones. There is a flower back here. And here is a piece of the recollection that I covered over the, um, stem of that, uh, uh, spray. There is a uh, wooden veneer from the uh, recollections, and there that gorgeous butterfly. And you can see I did uh, bend it up, and I have it down with some E6000. And then there are four of the pearls from that m uh, recollection. So here is the Craft Supplies one um, flatback pearls. You see it goes all the way around. There was just a small lip. I didn't understand this box, but. There was a small lip, so that was able to go on. And I put that on using Scorpal tape. I love Scorpal tape. Um, I have it in several sizes. Back here. Oh, my goodness. So I have it, and it came in a very, very thin um, size. So I was able to use that along the edge. And I prefer that versus hot glue. Um, on my um, boxes, the, the the sticky score pal tape stays and sticks a lot stronger. So that's the top of the box. It's really uh, fall. You can see the uh, beige and black leaf paper in the back here. Again, I use three of the sheets. So now here is the inside of the box. Again, this closure opens up here, and you just lift this up. And on the inside, I have the goodies that I'm going to send to this person. And the box will open totally flat, so I'm just going to hold it. So I have some fabric samples in there. And then on the inside, the box looks like this. I did some cutouts, and I just put some flowers in each corner. These are the flowers from Edith, from Craft Supplies 1, and then from my stash. The two roosters were... Um, fussy cut and put on pop dots so that is the box and again it's just full of yummy yummy fabrics okay so 
I'm going to be uh, putting some bubble wrap on this baby and hope <laughs> that it is not destroyed um, in shipping. I know this is pretty tender here, but I think if I bubble wrap it and I hope that when it is opened up, when um, she shows it on a video, that it will still look as it does. So, that is my project. Um, again, this is a really beautiful paper pad. The Rooster Provincial at uh, Michael's. Um, it's by recollection. It is, um, you can get them on sale when they're 40% uh, off, which I would encourage. Um, and use it for your projects this fall. It's really um, nice to work with because the, the papers just all blend in together. So, um, thank you for watching, and uh, please do leave me a comment, and we'll talk soon. Bye now.